What's going on everyone, it's Abdallah, and welcome back to another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle episode here. Before we get started, do me a favor, hit that like button and show your support for the series, thanks. Alright, well this was a battle that I took from the stream against Marks. Now, usually at my streams I say no Ubers or Legendaries, but this guy thought he'd be funny and he brought a freaking Xerneas and Speed Boost Blaziken. So, I'm going to have to find a way of working around these guys if I'm going to win it. So I'm at a huge disadvantage here, considering I've got no Ubers or Legendaries on my team. It's going to be interesting. I have no idea who he's going to lead off with, so I'm kind of in it blind. I'm going to lead off with Lead Galvantula, set up the uh, Sticky Web, because mostly all of his pokes touch the ground, so that's going to be beneficial for me. So I need to do that as soon as possible. Alright, so leading off, bam, Sticky Web. Okay, I'm thinking he's going to use Stealth Rock, so we're going to do a little exchange. But nope, he does Shell Smash, and oh my god. Shell Smash, lowering his defense and special defense, and then boosting up his attack, special attack, and speed. And on top of that, he's got the White Herb to um, prevent his defenses from being lowered. So that's an awesome lead right there. But luckily I got my Focus Sash, and I need to start raining down some thunders on this guy, or else I'm going to get swept by a stupid lead, Crustle. And I definitely can't allow that to happen. Alright, so lucky for me, I get the Paralyzation. The 30% definitely lucked out in my favor. So, got to drop a second one right on him, and that Shell Smash was for nothing. So, whew, luck is on my side. <laughs> Alright, he brings in his KNF over here, uh, which is a Durant. And, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get out of here. Because I don't really know what this thing wants to do. Um, so I'm going to Volt Switch out. But looking at the damage that Volt Switch did, I could have easily knocked him out with a Thunder. That would have been awesome. So I'm just going to bust out Talonflame because I figured, okay, well, if he's got a Steel move, I'll resist it. If he's got a Bug move, I'll resist it. Um, and then I'm just going to go for maybe a Flare Blitz just to knock him out. I brought my Lefty's version of Talonflame over here, so a little bit more survivability. Alright, so I'm going to go for Flare Blitz, but he sends out his Fiji, which is the, what is this, Clawwitzer? Um, now these things are typically very slow, and they only have special attacks, so my only counter for this thing is going into Gudra. So Gudra's on my team, Gudra's my specially defensive wall. Um, this thing gets like Water Pulse, it gets all those pulse moves that you can breed with uh, Squirtle, so that you can get an awesome Mega Blastoise. I think it's got like Aura Sphere and uh, Dragon Pulse or something crazy. But either way, I'm switching into Gudra to sponge any kind of special attacks from this guy. I don't know if he predicts it or what, but he goes for Ice Beam, which was pretty cool. So that was a good prediction or what. I don't know. It would have been neutral on my uh, Talon Flame. But in order to knock this guy out, I'm going to bust out a Thunderbolt. But I don't know if he sees it coming since I was on the stream and he saw my previous sets. So he goes into Aurorus. Now Aurorus is pretty cool because it's got that uh, that one ability where it makes all normal type moves ice type. So that that's cool for like takedown or any kind of normal moves. Um, so since it's ice type and I know that it's four times weak against steel, um, I'm going to go into Caesar. Now he goes for Tri Attack, or actually Nature Power in Wi-Fi turns into Tri Attack, which is cool. He gets a crit and a freeze out of all things. Are you kidding me? 10% freeze chance. And he gets it. So I'm like, you know what? I can't switch out and have a frozen Caesar. I'm just going to keep going. And bam. Caesar luckily thaws out first turn, goes for the bullet punch, and knocks this thing out. So luck is definitely on my side. Because the game's saying, hey, dude, this guy's bringing freaking Ubers against your team. We're going to help you out a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so he brings out his Speed Boost Blaziken. Now this thing could fire Flare Blitz me, he could uh, Blaze Kick me, he could do a whole bunch of fire moves against my Caesar. So I'm going to get the heck out of here and go into Tyrantrum to sponge any kind of fire attack. Because I pretty much uh, sponge all fire attacks. It's four times uh, resisted with my Dragon and Rock ability. Anyway, he's going for that Swords Dance Speed Boost. He is at plus... 2 attack, plus 1 speed. So this is very intimidating right now. I'm going to go for Poison Fang in hopes that I can actually poison this dude. Um, because knowing him, yeah, I'm going to get owned. He goes for High Jump Kick, misses, thank goodness. I go for Poison Fang, bam! 
And almost kill him. Very, very narrow victory there. He's just speed boosting up right now. I'm not going to stick around for another high jump kick. Because I feel that I may need um, I may need him for later. So I'm going to go into Galvantula just for death fodder. Because I need a an even switch in. I'm thinking, okay, death fodder out my spider. Switch in Caesar so I can get a perfect one versus one. Get that bullet punch. Knock him out. So that's my train of thought right now. And he'd be stupid to stay in seeing that coming. I don't know why he's going for protect right now. Just to see what move I'm going to pretty much use. He sees that I'm going for bullet punch. Now, I'm just going to keep on going for bullet punch because that's the only thing that I can do right now. If I go for Swords Dance, I don't want to risk it. It's not worth it. Uh, because he could either high jump kick me at his plus two attack, um, or he could Flare Blitz me and knock me out. So, I'm continuously going to go for Bullet Punch. He brings in his Clawitzer again. I'm going to hit this thing, but it is resisted. So these things are a little bit bulky, um, so that really didn't do too much. Um, and knowing this thing, I mean, the best thing that he can do to a Caesar is probably uh, maybe Aura Sphere, or if he had Scald, he could have used that, but probably not. So I'm going to switch out. I'm going to go back into Gudra, just so we have this uh, this mini game that we're playing here. It's the game of counters. Uh, so he goes for Aura Sphere. Pretty good move on his part. It would have been way better if he went for Ice Beam. That would have been awesome, because he knows that my uh, switches were coming. Either way, I'm going to stick in right over here. I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt, uh, just to knock him out, do some straight damage. Uh, and he goes to Blaziken, because he knows that he doesn't want to get hit by that Thunderbolt. So, I'm going to knock him out. He uses Blaziken as Death Fodder, so he can get an even footing on his next Pokemon that he sends in. Pretty good move, I would say so. So now, here we go. The star of the show, Xerneas. Oh my gosh. I have never fought this thing before. I don't know what it does. Fairy Aura, which is a pretty dumb ability. But I'm going for Sludge Bomb. I go faster because he was in the Sticky Web. I almost one-shot him, but that was because of a crit. And lucky for me, he gets the poison. So, he goes for Geomancy, and Geomancy is a move where it boosts his special attack, special defense, and speed by two stages. Kind of like a, um, a Shell Smash, almost, without the defense lowering. Um, but at the same time, he uses the Power Herb in order to make it be a one-turn attack. Because typically it's a two-turn attack. It takes one turn to do it, and then another turn to actually fully do it. So, he's at plus two speed. He's going to bust out his Moonblast. I'm going to stay in, because I know that he can only do one attack before the poison gets to him. So, Gudra, you did awesome. Got that crit sludge bomb turned into a poison, and his Xerneas is down. Wow. Dodging so many bullets this time around. It's awesome. Learning how to play around these uber threats over here. So he's bringing out his Clawitzer. I'm going for Tyrantrum. Simply because I've got the fangs on this guy. And since he's got a sticky web speed drop, I can pretty much Thunder Fang him and knock him out. And I'm hoping for it. And no, he just barely manages to kill. That's like twice Tyrantrum. Come on, I got you maxed out in attack. But anyway, he goes for the Aura Sphere, almost killing me off with that. Tyrantrum special defense isn't that great, so it did take a lot of damage from that. But this is pretty much sealing the deal right here. Using that Thunder Fang, knocking this guy out, and bam. Clawitzer's done. Now he's got his little uh, his little ant over here in his back pocket. Now this thing's fast, um, but I was thinking, okay, well, he's got his speed boost, or his speed drop. But he goes for Iron Head right here and totally knocks me out. I don't know if he's scarfed or if he's just naturally super fast that he doesn't even matter about that. But it looks like he was Life Orb, so he ended up killing himself. Not bad. I have a couple more pokes uh, that were still alive, but very good battle. Um, although he did bring Ubers to a non-Uber match, um, I definitely found a way around it. And I love doing that, so yes. Awesome battle marks. Um, that Geomancy freaking power herb was awesome. Oh my gosh. Anyway, guys, uh, that's the end of that. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch it with me. Be sure to comment about what you enjoyed most about the battle in the comment section below. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button to stay updated on more Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battles. If you guys are interested in battling me, I would love it if you guys stop by the weekend streams here on YouTube every Saturday and Sunday at 4 p.m. Central Time. I pick a couple people out of the audience and we battle right then and there. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys on the next episode. See ya!